Three. Hello, it's Mickey Webb with Bird Debbie Day Lily Farm again. I just thought I'd show you a few of the hosses we have and some of the daylilies. They're not in bloom yet, but just wait till when they do start blooming. This way, this will give you an opportunity just to see what we have. Right here's our hosta garden. Some of them are just starting to come back up real good. Then we got our daylilies. We got about, we got several uh, patches of daylilies, so we'll show them to you. And we do have one in bloom. And this is one of them that we hybridized, Nurse Angie. Kim, was that yours or one that I done? I think you did it. Okay, one of them I done. All right, now you see this field right here? that we got started and then let's Kim look over our towards the rose bush and see all this is our display area some of it that we've uh, letting giving it time to multiply so we put it in a special spot and the other day I told you I didn't think we had any Frost damage, we do have a little bit. Not bad, but just a little bit. Here's some more of our day lilies. We do have a few blueberries that are starting to come on pretty good. And I'm hoping that we get some berries off of this year. Now we're watering too, so let me fix this sprinkler where Kim won't get wet. Here's some more hostas we got. There's an old hay. An old hay rake that me and my dad got a long time ago. And I have used it before. It's come in handy. All right, let's walk on down here. Now these are our goldfish ponds. We're just getting them cleaned up, getting them going. Uh, we got to get some more fish, but we really enjoy them too. Our banana trees are a little bit small right now, but usually that by the end of the summer, they are huge. You see some of the stumps there. Barn quilt. Barn quilt. Uh, a lady from the Black Mountain Asheville area did that for me probably two or three years ago. Peony, yeah, pink. the dark pink. It's in bloom this year. And the rhododendrons.
We have benches throughout the garden for people to sit on in case they need to take a break. Now these are my white scuffing ons. We got a few grapes off of them last year. But my problem is the deer likes them too. But they're full. Looks like, look here what clusters it looks like it's gonna be on them this year. Right here. So we're gonna have the grapes this year. I probably have to put an electric fence around them to keep the deer out. And then look over here. Here's some more stuff. More of our ferns. The daylilies. Down here are the blackberries. I'm gonna show you some blackberries that's got some berries on them already. Now look at the berries here. Now ain't them a bunch of berries on one plant? This is freedom. These are thornless. They'll get about as big as your thumb are, and they're really pretty. Now, my grandsons in Texas have been wanting me to show some pictures of our chickens. So I'm gonna take a few pictures, let you see our chickens. And uh, these are, now that's an old game rooster. And there's two Americana hens in there. And there's a game hen in there. The reason I like the games is because they'll take care of themselves. Plus two, the hens are really, really good mamas. Now I've got some more down here. Now this is my Americana rooster. He's really pretty. Everybody sees him, likes him. And then I got five game hens in there with him. Got one up there laying eggs right now. And we've got, we've been getting quite a few eggs, which we like him too. She's in, even been putting a few of them up in the freezer. Well, I just, and this here, down here is our picnic area when we have our festival. We have it. Plus two. <laughs> The last few weeks, I think we've probably got close to about 40 wicking tubs done. Now our two grandsons, we y'all got to see them Mother's Day. They're they've got them a little garden started. First thing Luke told me, Papa, you can't show our garden or our stuff off until me and James is in the <laughs> in the picture. We just got it planted. We got some tomato plants. So when it starts coming up, we'll get it all situated to where y'all can see it. Because those boys was pretty proud of it. We worked a hound out of them yesterday. We done how many? 22 wicking tubs. Damn boys worked hard. And guess what? We got the buckets from Tractor Supply. Thank you, Tractor Supply, for coming through for us. You know something? The the buckets they got are uh, are food grade. Plus two, they're pretty red buckets, and they got some pretty white buckets. I got every bucket they had yesterday. But you know something? They got them for roughly around about three dollars a piece. So guess what? If you need any buckets, you need anything. Go to some tractor supply because you know something? If they don't know where, if they ain't got it, I have had them to help me find out where I can get it. And guess what? I've had people to ask me where I get my insurance at, my homeowners and all that. I got it at Farm Bureau here in Morganton. So let me tell you something. They have really took care of us. So I'm going to tell you something. 
If you need somebody, call and ask for Will Webb. That's my oldest son now. He's doing good. And he'll help you. He'll make you feel like family. So just take and holler and ask him. Says, hey, we want to talk to that Webb boy. We got to see his two boys on, on video. And you know something? He'll make you feel at home. But you know something? We're going to cut her short. Uh, we'll show you more on the, on the, on the uh, garden stuff. We're going to have a word of prayer right now. I meant to do that when we first started. So, Lord, forgive me. Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord, for your many blessings. Lord, just bless our time together. Lord, bless, bless the people that come and listen to us and our subscribers, Lord. And, Lord, we just ask that you just take and meet their needs, Lord. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Kim's wanting to talk to you a minute on the beard. I just need those 500 subscribers so we can cut that beard yeah, she's short. Want, she's wanting to see this thing come off online. I and don't I, really care if it's online or not. But, but. We, but I told everybody if we got them, I would do it online. I know. So, you know something? We, this is all fun for me and her because I can then tell you when I shave it off, it'll probably start coming back on the next day. But you know something? Y'all have a good day, and I really thank all of you for watching our videos. If you got any questions, look up our website, buyerwdaylilyfarm.com, and uh, if we can help you, we'll be glad to help you. Uh, you'll enjoy the when more of the daylilies start blooming, we'll show you more on them. And as our garden stuff gets going good, we'll show you on it. We got some of it out just a little bit late this year because we've, we just had a lot to get going on. So hopefully next year we'll do better. So thank y'all, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.